Hey, what is going on guys? Donovan here. In today's video, I actually filmed this video earlier, but my intro got kind of messed up. There was a ton of wind noise and it was just really annoying. So I'm deciding to redo the intro. Uh, so basically, the neighbor is just looking at me from across the street. So we're gonna wait a second on this one. Okay, that was kind of awkward, sorry about that. Um, so yeah, basically in this video, I kind of took the RT out for a drive. A couple of weeks ago, I made an update about the cam and stuff. It was kind of very general. I didn't really go into specifics. That's what I kind of talk about in this video and I gave you guys a cold start since it's been a couple of weeks and uh, I just kind of wanted to get out of the house. So anyways, uh, let's get into the video. Also, the car is filthy right now, so I apologize for that. Um, I tried rinsing it, but when you park outside, you can't do much. It's hopefully it's not too packed today. So I just thought, you know what? I'd take a little bit of a drive. phone was all over the place. That's pretty much the only place in this canyon that I can actually floor it because uh, the rest of it's turns and as you guys know this big girl ain't, ain't, ain't a turning car. That BRZ is though. People will rip through this place in cars that they really shouldn't, and it's kind of funny. That Challenger has seen better days. know uh, certain states are starting to lift restrictions on the whole uh, lockdown things and I just want to remind you guys to stay safe stay healthy stay smart um, do all the things you need to do so that uh, you and your family and your and your friends are safe and healthy um, it'll it'll help all of us in the long run no matter what you think of the situation politics or anything I think we could all agree that uh, we, we don't want to be in the current situation and uh, I, I, I think people forget that we all are in this situation together and and us you know as a country as a world uh, you know we really have to make smart decisions to make sure that uh, we can we can go back to our normal lives you know hopefully this is over soon we could all we could all go back to go back to normal now that's it with my little spiel on that, so we'll just continue the driving. Actually, what I wanted to talk about was I pretty much decided on a cam for this thing. Um, a lot of people really like to go with the J Green cams. Um, I decided to go a little different route. Uh, some people also go like Texas Speed and all that. I've decided to go a different route. I'm actually going to go with one of the new uh, HRT cams that Comp Cams came out with. And it comes with uh, most of the parts you need, like it comes with push rods and uh, uh, retainers, springs, and all that. Um, there's only a couple things I'll need to pick up, like lifters and all that. And uh, actually, I've started accumulating those parts already. Um, I've bought some of the gaskets and everything because you need head gaskets and stuff because obviously you have to pull those off uh, to, to change the lifters. 
So I'm really starting to get the ball rolling with that, which will which will be fun. We'll see. Uh, there's a couple things I want to do with this car first. I obviously want to get it dynoed uh, pre-cam so that we could see how much the cam adds on the top end. This decision wasn't really like motivated by anything. Um, I've heard great things about, um, you know, Jay Green's cams, obviously. People swear by his stuff. Uh, he's a fantastic tuner, I hear. And, um, you know, Texas Speed, obviously, they, they know what they're doing. I was looking at the Modern Muscle cams and those just really didn't offer what I wanted. And um, their, their packages online were, were somewhat helpful, but, you know, I felt that, um, I, I'm just going to leave it at that. I, I didn't feel like that was the, the right package for me. thing I did want to talk about too was a lot of people in my comments are always reminding me how high my car sits you know because obviously I don't have the super track pack it's not a scat pack or anything so it sits obviously higher uh, than the than the other cars especially like the Hellcats scats SRTs and all that I could lower the thing on lowering springs that's I know that's really popular um, the reason I don't want to do that is because People, like, you, you can't just throw lowering springs on the car because it messes up the camber, it messes up your steering geometry. So you so you end up paying more than the 300 some odd dollars uh, that the springs cost to get your car running correctly. And suspension and steering really isn't something I want to mess with until I'm really uh, down to, to go, uh, you know, 100% on it because, you know, that's, suspension steering that's that's what will kill you uh, if, if you don't do it correctly so um, you know I'm not very eager to put on just a $300 set of springs and call it good because that that's easy I could go do that tomorrow um, really I, I'd like to do either a complete coil over set and do like a camber kit and everything get it all set up perfectly rather than just throwing on springs and calling it a day and when I say that you know I'm not I'm not throwing shade at people who just throw on the springs because, you know, obviously they do help performance a little bit and, and uh, you know, they do make the car handle a little tighter since the center of gravity is lower to the ground. Um, but there are, there are other trade-offs by going that route as well. So you kind of have to do your uh, cost-benefit analysis on that one uh, before you do it. blue I really like those blues if I was to buy another one of these cars dude I'd probably go with the jazz blue color because the like monochromatic color schemes cool but you know having a little flash in there is nice sometimes too so I respect it so yeah going back to the cam thing uh, the, another reason why I chose that specific cam was uh, it seemed to have the most promising power gains comp cams has been uh, working on it uh, for a while now and obviously it's easier for them to go because doing research for a cam is like it, it's like a feedback loop like it's not super easy to just keep grinding a ton of cams and I think that's why some of these private sellers you know like like Modern Muscle or Jay Green like they can't do a bunch of uh, tests on cams because that means they keep having to pay to grind it and reinstall them whereas uh, you, you know comp cams they grind them themselves so it's a little bit easier for them to make a ton of cams and test which one's best. I've heard great things about them. The dyno numbers look promising. Uh, it doesn't really lose too much low end torque, which I was afraid about because uh, I don't want to get a stall. Um, don't really want to mess with that yet. I'm not, I'm not completely ready to get tear into this car because uh, 
there, there's other stuff in the future I, I, I would rather do. So yeah, no stall, promising gains, um, good reviews, it comes from CompCam directly, it comes in a kit, so I, I'm less likely to forget uh, any little part or something, because I'm not an expert on, on these motors. Um, you learn as you go, so, so we'll see. I'm still debating because there's parts of the install that I can do and other parts that I cannot. So I'm debating on who I would have install it. Um, I know Viper Man Dan, um, that's what I call him. I don't think he likes to be called that, or at least I haven't asked, so maybe I shouldn't say that. Um, I was thinking about having him do it. He's probably one of the engine builders I trust the most. It's a lot of people ripping through today. It's nice to see. Ooh, look at that. Ooh. I couldn't tell if that was a 392 or not, but. Mustang's chasing me. totally following me. I can't tell what type of wheel setup he has going on back there, but uh, they're definitely staggered and it, and it looks pretty good, man. I won't lie. Anyways, that's going to pretty much uh, finish off this video, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I know it wasn't too exciting. I kind of just wanted to, to drive, give you guys an update, kind of respond to some comments because um, Sometimes I feel that comments require a little more of a, a detailed response than just typing something up really quick. Oh, that's a Cobra, that's why. Those things are fast, man. Those things are really fast. That thing looks fantastic. But yeah, I know I just did my outro, but I saw those cars and that you got to hear that Mustang. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.